And a big announcement uh, from your department in relation to pensioners. Um, and you are planning to pay for this through clamping down on tax avoidance. Tell us more. Yeah, so a uh, big announcement, big bold announcement today. We believe that pensioners work hard for all their lives. They should be allowed to retire in dignity and security. That's why we brought in the triple lock. And that's seen huge increases in pensions since 2010, £3,700 increase. But we want to go still further, and that's where the triple lot plus comes in. And what that means is that we will be uprating just, not just the pensions by the triple lot, but also what's called the personal allowance. That's the amount that you can earn without paying any income tax also by that same uprating, by the triple lock uprating. And what that will mean is tax cuts now for pensioners throughout the next parliament. Labour have completely dismissed this, which basically means that during the next parliament under Labour, what you're going to be seeing is millions of pensioners being dragged into paying income tax, having to fill all those forms in, all that paperwork and red tape, and extra costs to pensioners. Well, so, we so, are the party so, that is on the So, side so the instead, pensioners. you just steal money from people who are out there earning it, and by that I mean through retrospective taxes like IR35. OK, well, IR35s are inland revenue uh, rules around the nature of the way in which people work and how they should be taxed. What we've actually done, for those that are of working age, of course, is to slash national insurance for employees by one third. So that means that somebody aiming no, but, on the uh, but where average are you getting wage this in this extra country money from will be getting a, nine, getting a nine... Well, I'll come on to that, but just on those that are of working age, they're getting a £900 reduction in their tax as a result of those tax cuts that we've already uh, announced. In terms of how we will fund the tax cuts for pensioners, that's through clamping down on uh, tax avoidance and evasion, uh, £6 billion that we can uh, save by the and end of the year. IR35 would be is, part of that, wouldn't it? Well, IR35, Amy, is a completely different matter no, it's uh, not. to pensioners no, it's not. and it's taxation. A, no, but it's, but I, it's it not is. to people who are out there earning, because you go out and you say to them, I know we've said you've been self-employed for all these years, but we're now changing our mind, and you're not self-employed. So, you know, you give with one hand and you take with another. Somebody has to pay for these pension rises, and it's okay. going to be working people, people who are window cleaners and freelance nurses and, and freelance doctors and freelance anything you don't like that okay so ir35 as you will know has been around for a long time it's about defining the nature of the work that somebody's doing and the tax that should therefore apply that's very different from cutting uh, taxes for pensioners over the coming years, mm. something that Labour uh, have dismissed, and therefore more t pensioners okay. will be paying well, tax no, no, for the first time. Not millions okay. of them yeah, under they, the they Labour Party. They dismiss IR35, they go and they steal money from people, the Department of Thievery, they go and they say, I know you've earned this, I know you've been taxed in this, but we need to get money, the country's broke, how do we do this? Now we'll announce we're doing pensions, whatever, but we need to steal money from more working people out there. And if you're freelance, we're coming to get yeah. you with IR35. That's what it's about. No, this has got nothing to do with that. IR35 Amen has been around for many years and it is a way of assessing the, rate, the tax regime that is appropriate for somebody given the way that they are working, whether they are genuinely self-employed or actually effectively employed uh, by somebody else. That is completely different from the announcement we're making today, which is that mm. pensioners will have their tax cut throughout the next parliament. Mm. The Labour Party have dismissed this which means yeah. that by 2027, My point if you continue is, with the frozen are their tax cut, but other people are Hold on, their uh, Amy, increased. if I can just finish. That's it. Yeah, no, OK, no, no, move no, on. No, those of working age have had a, have had a, those of working age have had a tax cut, Eamon, worth £900 for the average mm. worker. We've slashed national insurance, employee okay. national insurance can I just by a full interject? third yeah, in order to Yeah, if I may, Mr Stryber, because you taxes. talk about Labour yeah. dismissing it, but actually it is a Conservative policy of fiscal drag that will pull pensioners into this bracket, which you are deciding not to do anything about. And Labour are very suspicious about your support of pensioners because they say you have this huge unfunded national insurance cut and they think that it could affect pensioners in the long run well this this huge national uh, insurance cut being unfunded is a complete myth we have fully funded the one-third uh, reduction that i've referred to that is cutting uh, working age people's taxes on average 
by £900. I think what you're referring to there is the aspiration that we now have to go still further, because we're a party that believes in lower taxes, to ultimately abolish national insurance altogether. That is something that will take drag. a considerable amount of... It will take it. Well, fiscal drag is something different still. No, but, but the, and the Labour is, Party are not saying that they will do anything no, to but thresholds. No, I'm asking but about what, what you're doing. What, and you what are matters? Clearly, going after yes. the pensioners' vote, and there will be a lot of people of working age who'll never be lucky enough even to have a pension. And you talk about people who've worked hard all their lives. And we've got a number of them in the studio this morning saying, "Well, it's clear who the Conservatives are batting for in this election." Well, as I say, those of working age have received a £900 tax cut as a result of cutting national insurance by one third. And that is already feeding into working age people's uh, pay packets. We've also, for, particularly for young people, increased the national living wage now by close on to 10% uh, as of uh, this April. So we are doing things for those that are hardworking and in work, but we do think that pensioners matter. And under Labour, Dismissing what we're doing today is simply going to mean that millions of pensioners are going to start paying income tax for the first time, which we don't think is right. They're going to have all the paperwork and the uh, red tape that goes with that, which at that time of life we don't think is right either. We are the party that is on the side of pensioners, and that's why we're announcing these additional tax cuts for pensioners today. OK. Mel Stride, Secretary of State for Department of Work and Pensions. Thanks very much indeed Thank for you. your time. Thank you.